Welcome back to Fast Money. The Reddit trade on fire in today's rally. Check out some of these big moves. GameStop and AMC leading the group with double-digit gains. Tesla gaining more than 6%. Barclays is out with a new note connecting the dots, saying there is a clear connection between Tesla's stock price and the number of times it is mentioned on Reddit's Wall Street Bets board. Let's bring in Ryan Preclaw, head of investment sciences at Barclays. Ryan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. When I saw the headline of the report, I immediately thought, is this just a coincident indicator? In other words, is the number of times it's mentioned on Reddit, is, does it coincide with the stock's rise? But you actually say that this is predictive in some way? Yeah, that's right. So when we uh, look into that, what we see is that actually the, the most close connection between uh, Reddit and Tesla's stock price is how many people uh, put submissions onto Reddit about Tesla two days ago and one day ago for price moves today. So there's really at least a couple of days uh, lag in terms of when people are talking about it and when you get the big upwards. So when you when you say that the stock usually moves higher, is there an average move? Or, I mean, can you quantify that in some way? Uh, you know, it varies in terms of particular ones, but generally we're talking about, um, it, you know, and it's going to be a function of how many times people are talking about it. But it can be several percentage points if you're seeing big surges in uh, attention in terms of what people are posting on Reddit. So in talking about a meaningful amount, we're also talking about a number of different times. So one of the things we did was we went through and we looked at what are all the times when there was big spikes in attention on Reddit uh, regarding Tesla? And in how many of those cases do we see the stock move up? And the answer was uh, in pretty much all of the top 10 and many, many of the top 20. And so unlike something where it could just be you know, a statistical anomaly based on a single big move, actually we've seen that very consistently when people start paying attention to Tesla on Reddit, uh, or at least on the Wall Street Bets board, you do see consistent moves up in the name. I'm sure there are a number of caveats to all of this, Ryan. I mean, especially because this whole phenomenon is pretty new. So the number of times you had to study is probably pretty limited. Can you talk through that in terms of the number of instances you were able to study? And then also, if you were able to really um, go through the board effectively in that so many times it's all about emojis and, and memes, and, and that's hard to, to go through you know, for an algorithm, for AI, or, or for human, for that matter. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think uh, when we looked at it, we actually found something like 20 separate you know, big spike events. Now, those big spike events tended to run multiple days. And so we actually had a pretty reasonable amount of data to work with, certainly enough to get to statistical significance. Um, you know, what, we, what we did find, though, is actually hard to isolate down into when people were talking about Tesla. You know, when you think about uh, translating posts into data, there's a bunch of things that you can do. One of the first ones, you just have to extract the ticker or the name that they're talking about. You know, we did that by looking at times people were talking about, you know, dollar TSLA or capital TSLA. But even within that, you know, people would post things where they're talking about multiple tickers uh, and you have to parse those out. What we used here and what got us the best results were those clear results where the number of submissions where people were talking about Tesla and just Tesla, uh, which gave, I think, a very sort of clean read on, on, you know, are people talking about this name? But it's certainly not trivial to just extract that from, uh, from the feed itself. <laughs> you put this note uh, out jointly, I believe, with the Tesla analysts. I'm curious, you know, what, what role this would play or will play or could play in the future in terms of the firm's recommendations of stocks. Do you think that this is something that will continue to be studied and maybe factored into research? Yeah, look, I think any investor now or anyone who wants to take an opinion on a security needs to start factoring in this question of, is this going to become a meme, meme stock? Is this something that's going to gain attention on social media? You know, what we see here is that you're talking about only a few days lag. Um, so I think people will have to be cautious in terms of how they talk about it. But if you're covering any stock that you think could could go into or where you know, attention could land on it on social media, I think you have to be thinking whatever my range of up and down was or whatever the volatility of the move I felt like could happen with this name, maybe now I have to think about whether that's much bigger now than it used to be in the past. All right, Ryan, we've got to leave it there. Really interesting stuff. Hope you come back. Ryan Preclaw, Barclays. Guy Dami, if I were to read between the lines of what Ryan just said, it sounds like regardless of what people may think of, of the Reddit army, whatever you want to call that, it has changed the way Wall Street operates on some levels, including research. 100%. No question. I mean, I, you know, I, I can only really speak for myself in terms of this. I admire a lot of these folks 
in terms of the due diligence they did and the work that was done behind the name like GameStop. I've said it a few times. They understand more about volatility and negative gamma than probably the people that were putting on the positions on the other side. So good for them that they caught this. I mean, I'm not here to cast aspersions. What I am here to say is, though, I think there are an army of people. I also think there are a few people behind that army that are probably pulling the strings. And I'd be fascinated to know or to learn who those folks are. And that will come out at some point. The puppet master in all of this is still yet to be um, um, displayed. Unveiled. The puppet master unveiled. has yet to be <laughs> unveiled, perhaps. Is the hey, term so yeah, James, go ahead. There's new data from a Massachusetts-based firm called PIIQ Media, and it shows that there's tens of thousands of bot accounts that may have fueled this Reddit frenzy. And while we're attributing this activity to humans, um, thousands of bot accounts can be bought for as little as $200 a piece. And since the squeeze, uh, the Wall Street bet has seen an inflow of over 2 million new members. Um, and the firm found that start-stop patterns coinciding with day trading uh, compared to other tops, there were clearly patterns there. And so mm -hmm. um, all of this is looking at the etiology of the system uh, where stocks are being pushed around, bullied around. There's a lot of computer science happening behind the scenes as well. And there's some firms looking into alternative conspiracy theories, so to speak, on the bots. Um, and so I would say just, you know, let's not ignore the bots as, as an influencer. Um, and if there's an actor behind the bots or multiple actors behind the bots, that's really got to be factored in as well. Oh, for sure. I, I, I always, from, the, from day one, wondered whether or not every single account was tied to an actual human being. But at the same time, the activity on Reddit is, in fact, driving stock price action, which is, I think, the bottom line here, at least for us in terms of, of stock movements. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.